Hi everyone and welcome to this e-poster presentation of our BVM paper Realistic Evaluation of Fixed Match on Imbalanced Medical Image Classification Tasks. In this project we took a look at existing works on semi-supervised learning for medical image classification and noticed that some aspects are often treated with little care. For example, hyperparameter tuning methods are often not reported, which could result in a weak supervised baseline. Moreover, class imbalance is rarely taken into account, although it's ubiquitous in medical applications. Our goal was to explore these two points on a state-of-the-art semi-supervised learning method. And for that we used the following setup. Experiments were performed on datasets of chest x-rays and retina images. As you can see on the right, both tasks include class imbalance. We then trained deep neural networks on both datasets and used the fixed match algorithm for semi-supervised learning. To enable a fair comparison between supervised only and semi-supervised methods, we tuned hyperparameters with the same budget for both methods. In our experiments, we tested fixed match and the supervised baseline on different amounts of labeled images. Here you can see the results, where each dot corresponds to one random seed for the experiment. We observed that fixed batch consistently outperforms the baseline on the retina dataset, but on Chexpert we could only see slight improvements in the lowest label regime. One possible reason why FixMatch struggles to make use of the unlabeled data is the class imbalance present in it. Therefore, in the next step, we checked a few simple methods for controlling class imbalance. Unfortunately, the balancing methods gave no significant improvements on Chexpert. But on the Retina dataset, some methods outperformed the vanilla FixMatch on configurations with few labels. Looking a bit closer on to the learning curves, we can understand why these balancing methods help. Apparently, pseudo-label predictions on the unlabeled data tend to be highly biased to the majority class. And this leads to problems with the unsupervised loss and ultimately overfitting. Although some of this could be resolved with distribution alignment, there are still open questions if this can be further improved and if this problem occurs for other semi-supervised learning methods as well. Okay, that's it from me. Thank you for watching this video and enjoy your BVM.